Hello, my name is Kevin Mallon and I am the Artistic Director of the 13 Strings Chamber Orchestra in Ottawa. Today we're going to play a performance of Bela Bartok's Romanian dances. And you know, every time we combine one sense, it's really great if we can bring another one in. So we have our good friend Veronique Rivet, and she is going to talk about Hungarian Romanian wine. Hello, Veronique. Hi there, Kevin. Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to be here to bring together wine and music for our greater enjoyment. I am Véronique Rivet from Soif Baravin in Gatineau, owner and sommelier, great lover of wine and of music. <laughs> well, today we wanted to just talk about Bartok. Um, these pieces were originally called Hungarian dances. They're dances um, from Transylvania which then became part of Romania and the dances then became the Romanian dances. And interestingly enough, when I looked at some of the dances and uh, culture from Transylvania, very rich um, area for folk culture, um, I saw that everything was really rather extrovert. And the music of Bartok, his, he was a famous um, a song collector, folk song collector, him and Kudai. And uh, you, he really picked up the, a, a rustic quality in this music that was really a trait of the 20th century, that you weren't afraid to express the um, folk element of this music. And I think it's a great character of these pieces. And Veronique, I wonder if the, the wine reflects that too. Well, Romanian wine, uh, for once, is not very well known to us. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot on the market. Um, Romania is a bit of um, um, a special situation, right? It's often been uh, um, designated as a, a Latin country, kind of stuck in between Slav, Slavic yeah. countries, right? They definitely have... a, a um, um, Latin culture in terms of food and wine, they are huge wine drinkers. I think contrary to other countries of Eastern Europe where right, um, beer or spirits, vodka might be more popular. Uh, Romania has a def a very strong wine culture, have always been um, big producers. Unfortunately, of course, under communism, um, a lot of quality has declined and you know the accent was put on productivity and um, we're just now seeing the resurgence of Romania's richness in terms of its own indigenous grape varieties um, because to make it on export market it planted a lot of international varieties what we've been seeing from Romania were inexpensive wines from Merlot from Pinot Noir from Cabernet Sauvignon but they have their own indigenous grape varieties uh, the Fitiascas in particular now excuse my Romanian pronunciation um, but two Fitiascas in white which are the most widely planted um, white grape varieties Romania just like Hungary produces more white still today than reds um, I love that notion of a certain rusticity in, in, in the music, um, but you know that goes back to the origins, to the roots of that folk music. Um, it's a little bit what we're seeing with the wines. Uh, there was a rusticity that was not that good under communism and, and, and shortly okay. after where the wines were very inexpensive. But today there's this revival of old grape varieties um, that definitely have a certain rusticity to, to them, uh, but very, very, very characterful. A little bit, again, like, like the wines of Hungary can be. Well, I think that's very interesting because... Um, under communism in general, uh, in Russia and in the music as well, there was a great suppression of the essence. And so composers had to work around that. And one of the things I admire about Bartok and Kudai and then Vaughan Williams in England is to go really back to something uh, organic, finding just this essence of what the, the earth and the countryside can be. And I think that you've given a good description then of a sort of wine to go with that. And to get a truly 
you know, complete experience, try to get Romanian wines are hard to find, but do seek out those made from native grape varieties, not Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon, but something from Fetiasca, from Babeasca. There's also some Kadarka, which is not, but some indigenous Romanian wines to get the entire experience with the music. So why don't we hear the Hungarian, the Romanian dances by Bella Bartok? 